We are back with actress Kerry Washington and her co-star in the new Hulu series, Unprisoned, Delroy Lindo. Yeah, Kerry plays a single mom and therapist whose personal life, well, let's say it's a little <laughs> bit messy. Delroy <laughs> plays her dad who was just released from prison and he moves in with her and her teenage son. Take a look. I think that you can stay with us for as long as you need. But obviously all the same rules still apply, you know, right? You have to keep this job and... Don't ask you for money, don't get in your business, don't put the knife back in the jelly after I done licked it. Are you doing that? No, it's that, a joke. Is that, that was, something that you do? That was a joke, baby. No. Do you want no. your own no. shelf no. in the... Cheers. Cheers. Are you contaminating I that. I my jelly? That, You're disgusting. Uh, oh my god okay <laughs> serious subject matter and a lot of fun yes. i love the genre the dramedy yeah. did you was that something that you really wanted carrie in this uh in this piece it came with the came piece with when i read it because the show is inspired by the a woman named tracy mcmillan who's mm -hmm. been on today yeah. a bunch um and her dad mm -hmm. and they are hilarious so they are charming and wonderful and so we were just trying to lean into who they are yeah delroy to play people that are real that are alive that you can speak to what kind of research did you do did you meet with him and talk I about did. this transition yeah that's that's probably the first thing that i did i asked tracy if i could meet with her dad mm -hmm. and i did and he was incredibly um gracious and open mm -hmm. and uh i also uh, we we met we spoke uh at length we had two dinners and then we spoke length on the phone but I have to say I also uh, did wonderful um, uh, I was given a lot of wonderful information by um, a lady in San Francisco Ramona Massey mm -hmm. who introduced me to an organization up there called um, positive direction mm -hmm. equals change mm -hmm. uh, they work with formerly incarcerated people mm -hmm. I then spent some time in Los Angeles with a an organization called Sober Living Network. Mm -hmm. And they were also incredibly uh, generous and open with their time. Mm -hmm. You capture the character like spot on. So but great, but right? what I like too is your comedic timing. Man, you've got that. You, we used to see you in dr <laughs> yeah, you're, drama roles and now we're well, like, you're a serious actor, but you're well, hilarious. Well, thank you. I, pre <laughs> I appreciate that. But, uh, you know, I have to give kudos to the writing, right? Yeah. Because it was, it was essentially a, um, a question of just applying oneself to the writing and applying oneself to the truth that was in the scene. Mm -hmm. And the humor came out of it that. Just came. Yeah. But I yeah. do want to give kudos to Carrie yeah. and to Tracy because they made it really clear when they were, um, when we were first speaking, that we wanted to traverse this line between yes. comedy and drama yeah. to yeah. make it a, a dramedy. And we were really clear about that and mm -hmm. intentional about that you, in the work. You wanted one person for the role. Just one. Just one. Delroy was your this only guy one. Here. Only, the only well, one. Why was he the one for you? I mean, I've always been a huge Delroy Lindo fan. Mm. He's one of my acting heroes. Mm. It's so, <laughs> it's like such a treat to be sitting here with him. Um, and when I read the character, I just thought we have to find somebody who can do all of this. Yeah. Somebody who you can believe as a career criminal, mm -hmm. but who is lovable and charming and smart and vulnerable and tough. And he, I just felt like he does it all. He can do anything. Yeah. I mean, what? <laughs> you know what I love? <laughs> When you talk good about someone and they're like, okay. Yeah, my goal in every interview is it's to make Delroy as uncomfortable as possible. It well, works, it you works. You guys, your chemistry yeah. is crazy. And this yeah. is has a role with a lot of nuance because yeah. you yeah. love each other, but yeah. you don't really know each other that well. It is yeah. complicated. I like that saying that your parents know how to push your buttons because they installed them. I love that. <laughs> oh, that's, that's a good, so good one. Good. That is where we are on the show. You actually never saw Scandal. How did you never see Scandal? What were you okay, watching? All right, all right. Yeah, that's, that's all no. people. Watch. What were you no. watching? We put no. on our white I didn't put them. I didn't put them on this. I didn't put them on this. We just want to know. What else was there on television he back was then? Perfecting okay. his craft. That's how he is the there actor that go. he is I today. Was, do you I was honestly perfect. do you not watch TV? I don't watch a lot of TV, no. But audiences out there, please tune in to Hulu <laughs> and watch Unprisoned. Please. Unprisoned. Well, so what do you do with your free time if you uh, don't watch TV? Ah, uh, you guys were talking about um Parenting. Yeah. Uh, my wife and I have a 21-year-old son who's um, uh, currently on a basketball scholarship. A lot of games, a lot of a lot of time spent with him. Um, he loves art. He's a prolific art collector. Oh, you just yeah. sound like you're cool. A like you have, like, he's just a classy, cool guy. I will say, maybe go back and watch Scandal. 
It brought a we're lot of us not. a lot we're of joy. Not. It so we're John of filming. Well, listen, joy. I will say this about Scandal, even though I did not watch <laughs> Ever. it myself. Ever. I love that we're living yeah. here. Ever. But I was in Chicago, and I was at, a, at an event, and uh, the, after the event, we were at a dinner, and when Scandal came up, and when your work came up, there was a conversation, I'm not kidding, it probably lasted for about 45 minutes, wow. speaking about what Scandal meant. Mm. Yeah. So, um... Well, you know, I mean, I've told him this story a hundred times, but I saw, when I saw Delroy in Spike Lee's Malcolm X, yeah. it okay. transformed my idea of what was possible as an actor. It was such a, like, a north star for me as an actor in terms of what you could do, the power of what we do. Wow. So it was so fun. When, this, when I read the script, I called Spike and said, I need Delroy's number! <laughs> <laughs> Well, we're so happy you all are together. Yeah, we're so in happy this. he gave it to you. Yes. This is a, a yes. beautiful show. And Thank it is you. important, too. And important and, and fun. And funny and yes. awesome and all, all the things. things. Thank you. you Can I say one yes. thing yes. before we... I, I do not want to forget a, a gentleman named Louis Reed, mm. who mm -hmm. was also formerly incarcerated, and he also was incredibly generous and helpful to me with his time mm. uh, on as I was preparing this. I, I, I don't want to forget him. because Thank, was you. Thank very, you, Delroy. Yeah. Look God how bless. generous Beautiful. you Beautiful. are and Beautiful. lovely. My yep. gosh. Okay, God Unprisoned. Y'all watch it. It's on Hulu. It begins streaming today.